Hi, this is Miss Day. I wanted to review the information about how to mix colors to paint a color wheel. So as you can see here, I have the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. When you're painting the color wheel, you always start with the lightest color. And when you're mixing colors, you always start with the lightest color. I'm going to take some of my yellow, move it over here to a new spot so I don't contaminate my original yellow. Rinse my brush. I'm going to take a dot, a tiny dot of blue, and mix it into the yellow. There was more yellow than blue there. And now I have my green. If I wanted to go the other direction, again, I would start with yellow, put some yellow over here. in a new spot so that it does not contaminate my original yellow. I would take a dot of red and mix it into this yellow. There's more yellow, less red. It only takes a little bit of red to change it to orange. So as you can see here, when you mix two primaries, you get a secondary. So far we have green as a secondary between yellow and blue. Yellow uh, and red primaries produce the secondary orange. All right, let's try and make our last secondary color. It's going to be violet between these two. Red is lighter than blue, so we're going to put some red over here away from the original red. and we're going to take a dot of blue. It does not take very much, dot, dot, not a lot, to turn that into violet. This looks a little red-violet to me. I think I am going to do a little bit more. Let's check it. I would say it's more red-violet. It needs some more blue. Make sure I clean my brush so I don't contaminate the blue. Get a little bit more blue. So those are our primary and secondary colors. So I'm just double checking my colors now that I have mixed. So as you can see, I have red, blue, and yellow, the three primary. I have orange, green, and violet, which are the secondary. Now I'm going to make the tertiary colors. These are the colors that go in between a primary and a secondary color. So which is lighter? Yellow. So I'm going to take some yellow. Put it over here, and I'm going to mix in a little bit of the green with it. That's yellow-green. Okay, let's move on to the next. Between green and blue, green is the lightest. But I'm not going to move the green though, I'm just going to get a little bit of this blue and mix the blue in with some of the green. This brings the green up to blue-green. There we go. Let's just continue to go around the wheel. So the next one would be blue-violet. So I'm going to take some of this blue and put it over here with this violet. And you 
can see I get a nice purple or blue violet color here. Continuing to move around, I'm going to go ahead and take some red and move some red, put it into this violet to get a red violet. Again, I'm going to take a little bit of this red and mix it in with the orange. And it's going to give me red orange. And the last. Now that I've finished mixing all of the colors, I'm going to start transferring them over to uh, the color wheel, with a, which I have um, charted out here on my piece of paper. You can see I've already started with the yellow and um, the yellow-orange. The next color, of course, is orange. This looks like it needs to be darker. It's kind of a transparent paint, so once you actually paint it onto the paper, sometimes you need to get it a little bit darker. So you get the basic idea. I'm going to continue to paint this and I will come back and show you when I'm done. All right, so you can see I'm coming back in and I'm doing the last little piece of the pie on the color wheel. And this, of course, is the yellow green. course try to get around the edges first and then come back in and do the center all right and so what's great about this is that now that I've finished this color wheel and I have these colors um, still mixed in my palette I'm going to use these colors to work on the next worksheet which is neutralize and as you remember neutralizing a color is when you're mixing complementaries or opposites in order to dull the color and eventually make it turn brown or neutral. So, so I went ahead and, and, and mixed up some more of my secondary colors so that I would have enough to work on my um, worksheet for neutralizing colors. I'd like to start with um, orange and blue. This one is um, a little bit tricky because I want you to start from the right side and work back towards the left. So it's actually opposite. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some orange because it's the lighter color and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so this is the orange that we're, we're starting with. All right, so now we're going to mix um, violet with yellow. So I'm going to take the yellow, and I took some of it and put it right down over here by itself. And, oh, actually, I want to paint 
my box yellow. So you can see here the directions are actually for the first one as an example and then you're supposed to mimic that for the others. So the first box is just pure yellow and now I'm going to clean my brush and add one tiny dot of violet to the yellow and that's what I'm going to paint this box here. Another dot of violet, paint this box here. Another dot of violet, starts to turn into a nice golden brown. Another dot, 